From bidding wars to rising sales prices, along with tech stock fluctuations and gradual rates increases, our market resilience is being tested. I'm Tony with Clark Santoro, and this is our real estate update for the week of Friday, August 11th. In this series, we update you on the latest trends that are occurring in our real estate market here in San Ramon. Using our more than 50 combined years of experience helping clients buy and sell homes, we explain what those numbers mean for you as a homeowner or as someone who is looking for a house that you will love to call home. Our current inventory is 30 homes, which is up from 28 homes last week. The average asking price of those homes is $2,121,000, which is up or down just slightly from last week's $2,169,000. The current number of pending homes is five, which is down from 12 last week. The average asking price of those homes is up from last week. Last week was 1,708,000. This week it's at 1,772,000. And the total number of sold homes is also down from last week's number of 12. We're now at four for this week with an average sales price of 2,297,000, which is significantly higher than last week's number of 1,704,000. So now that we've analyzed the market and this week's performance, let's delve into the broader trends that provide insights into the overall health and potential future direction of the market. Before we proceed, if you find this information valuable, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the next update. And why not tell a friend, uh, share it with a friend as well. Everyone deserves to be in the know about their local market. All right, let's take a look at uh, the broader trends. This week, we've seen a modest increase in our inventory with an addition of two new homes. It's worth noting that our inventory levels, though showing a slight uptick, still remain comfortably below the average we typically observe during this time of the year. In fact, if we compare it to the same period last year, our inventory is uh, striking 3.2 times lower, reflecting a unique market dynamic. Over the past 10 months, we've observed a consistent range of 18 to 35 homes available, showcasing a relatively stable pattern. This steady scarcity in inventory has contributed to the ongoing appreciation of home values. And the turnover rate is still at a solid 120% of what's normal for our market. That means things are moving faster than usual, which is a good sign. Over the past six months, except for a quick two week period, around, uh, our turnover rate has stayed above 100%. This tells us that the market is pretty lively. We think that the market turnover rate is crucial for understanding how strong our market is. It gives us a big clue about how things are going overall and remaining at or above 100% is a good sign for market stability. And the bidding wars are still going strong. And you can see that from the fact that the sales price is consistently around 2% over the asking price. It's a clear sign of the competition that's out there. Just a year ago, homes were often selling for less than the asking price, and that kept up um, until about this past January but things have shifted. The market has some serious momentum heading into what's usually the slower season and is much stronger uh, than we were at this time last year. And since January, we've also seen a steady increase in the average sales price, which is a positive trend. Now it's important to note that there are a couple of weeks in April, or there were a couple of weeks in April where we saw a slight dip in the average price, However, when we zoom out and consider the long-term trend, it's clear that there has been consistent growth in property values throughout this year. Currently, our perspective is that the property values might have hit a plateau for now, and we're cautiously anticipating a small step back in the coming months. Of course, this is our analysis, just our analysis, and we are keeping a close eye on that situation. Now let's talk about what's happening in the high-tech equities market. For two weeks in a row now, we've seen a decline. This week it slowed, uh, it's down by about 1%. While it might not seem like a huge drop, it's worth noting because it's breaking an about eight month streak of consistent growth. 
Up until now, we've been enjoying this gradual and steady rise in equity values from Silicon Valley firms. Interestingly, this growth has played a major role in, the motivating, in motivating a majority of the buyers in San Ramon. If the tech equities continue to come down, that affects buyer confidence in a large way and can slow down the home sales here in San Ramon. And finally, uh, this week, interest rates, we observed another increase of six, uh, an increase of six basis points in, in the 30-year fixed rate mortgages. Over the last six months, rates have gone up by a little over a half percent. While this might not seem like a massive surge, it can feel a bit disheartening when we consider where the rates start uh, began six months ago. As we've been discussing almost every week, the rise in interest rates is a significant factor in our market dynamics. It's the one metric in our mix that's continuing to put a bit of a damper in our otherwise promising performance. We're closely monitoring this situation as it plays a crucial role in shaping the market's potential. Overall, our market continues to navigate through a series of intriguing shifts and trends. From the ongoing bidding wars to steady rise in average sales prices, we've seen both resilience and adjustment. The recent fluctuations in the high-tech equities market and the gradual climb of interest rates have added layers of complexity to our landscape. While these changes might not be drastic, they certainly impact our overall momentum. As this market continues to evolve, it becomes more necessary to keep a close eye on weekly trends if you're considering a purchase or listing your home for sale. The balance of power does remain in the seller side of the equation for now. Thank you so much for joining us on our week, uh, for our weekly market update. We hope this summary and commentary provided valuable insights into how our market impacts your options. If you have any specific questions about navigating the market to buy or sell a home, don't hesitate to drop a comment below or reach out to us directly. We're here to help guide you every step of the way. And if you found this information helpful, share it with your friends. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you'll always be up to date on the latest real estate news here in San Ramon. Have a safe weekend, and we'll see you next week with a new update.